Oftentimes I, I get the question, how close to the bone should I have the hip hook? Um, and, and the answer is really as close as you can and still get it to sink in. So what happens when you lie on top of the hip hook is that that tip is really um, going um, into the muscle, right? So initially, probably mostly the psoas, but then when you use the pivot, um, you're getting mostly the iliacus. When you place it, when you put your finger on the pelvic bone and you place the hip hook right inside of that, <clears throat> what you're doing is, is trying to find a place where the, the hook or the tip will sink into the tissue. If it's too close to the edge of the bone, um, then it actually is just hitting the bone. You need to go in just slight enough so that the tip will be able to curve around the pelvic bone. Otherwise, what happens is that when you lay on it, um, you know, it's hitting mainly the bone. When you get it in a little bit, it can sink in, and that's when you can get that rotation movement to really put pressure on the, mu the muscle. So the answer is you want it to be close enough to the bone where it's actually getting at the iliacus. You don't want it towards your belly button, um, but you do want it to be fur further enough in away from the bone so that it actually can sink in and, and go deep and it's not just hitting the, the, the tip of the bone. I, you know, all of this is an exploration. Everybody's body is different. We all have different shaped pelvises and different shaped bodies. Um, so you really have to explore for yourself, you know, the real estate that is your hip flexor area and find what's going to work best for you.